Hey, what's up? Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through our new plugin, the Plus Renamer. So I've got a scene here that I kind of purposefully put together to be a little bit stress-inducing. There are a lot of objects in here that don't have the correct name. Some of them are in different languages, all kinds of craziness that is not going to work for us, because if you've ever gotten a file or downloaded an asset that just has a bunch of parts that you know, you didn't make yourself, so they're all over the map, and you need to know what the heck it is that you're dealing with. You need to rename all this stuff. That's why we built the Plus Renamer. The Plus Renamer is something that we've been using in production for over two years now, and we're making it available to our Plus members. So first things first, let's go to the Grayscale Gorilla menu here under Hub. You're going to find it under Plugins, and you're going to want to look for the Plus Renamer, and you're going to want to install it. Once it's installed, it'll show up right under your under your Grayscale Gorilla menu, and then you can either choose to launch it directly from there, or if you're like me, you want to dock it. So I'm going to grab this little hamburger menu over here. I'm going to drag it on top of this hamburger menu, and it's going to create a tab over here next to my attributes. I like to keep it kind of like real close because I use it all the time. Okay, so... I'm going to walk you through every feature, um, but for this, uh, we'll undock it for now just so we can keep it at center, and that way you can kind of see. I'm just going to walk you through the interface, and then I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, so I sort of fell in love with the renaming functions in Figma, and we mirrored a lot of those functionalities in Plus Renamer. So it's basically what you would expect from a renaming tool. You can match particular parts of your current name and rename it to whatever you want, you can match the entire name and rename it. You can do all kinds of creative stuff, which we'll get into. Uh, your new name will go down here. If you want to just do a complete rename, that's great. And as you can see down at the very bottom, we can rename objects, materials, takes, and layers. Now, the real power of the plus renamer comes in the tokens. So if you click this little flyout menu right here, you can see we can do padded index naming. So 01, 02, 03. We can name it by type. So light, polygon, whatever. We can use the current name, and this is great if you're trying to take the current name, but add a postfix or a suffix or a prefix. And then alphabetic index is just going to add A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all that sort of thing. So these tokens are super powerful and allow you to do some really great renaming here. All right, so let's go ahead and dock this down in the interface again. And with that selected, we have some we have some cameras here, and these are all different camera angles of this crazy model with all these different parts. So we need to rename these into something a little bit simpler. So there's a bunch of ways that we could do this. We could simply just grab all of these right here and we could just rename them to cam and they'd all be the same. We hit that and they're all going to be named cam. Let's undo that. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to, I don't know, use part of that, of that name. Maybe we just want camera. So we might want to say match RS space, which are the first three characters of these names, and then we want to replace that with nothing. What this is going to do is it's going to strip out those first three characters. There you go. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to make it even more simple. Maybe we want to say, I don't know, we want to name this cam, but we want to put a numeric index at the end of it. So if I type in cam and then an underscore, and I go over to my tokens, and I put in the padded index, it just adds two number signs. And these two number signs are just gonna mean that it's 01, 02, 03. But if we wanna add more pads to that, we could do that too, just by adding another one. And now if I hit rename object, you can see I've got cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four. Now remember, I said we could do type as well. So if we wanna undo that, maybe we want to, I don't know, say we want to start with an alpha numeric index, and then we want to say type. So we'll do current, we'll do type. So we'll rename that, and now we've got A, R, S, camera, B, R, S, camera, C, D, all that sort of thing. Okay, so lots of different options here. I'm going to go back to just naming this cam underscore uh, number sign, number sign, and that's what I want for my camera. So now I can just quickly figure out what I want my cameras to be. One, oh, two, three, four. I just, it's just easier for me that way. I like to work that way. All right. So if we want to create takes for these, let's say that you've created four takes and these takes just have this, you know, new take one, new take three, all that. But maybe we want each one of these to be a different camera. So let's go ahead and do that. 
and we want to make sure that we have the same name for our takes. Well, because the uh, the the replace field is going to hold on to the last thing I renamed, I can just grab these and say, don't touch anything here, and just say rename takes. So now I've got cam1, cam2, cam3, cam4. So you can also rename materials as well. We'll get that into that in a minute, but let's go back to our main take. All right, so I'm going to open up this object, and you can see there is a lot of different parts in here. And it's not something, um, you know, I don't, I like to like keep my, my scenes clean. I like to not name every single object, but I might name them based on, you know, the group or, or what this set of objects is. So you can see here, this one is called a boom. It's like this boom arm here. Let's actually work in our isolated mode so we can see this a little bit better. So these are boom parts. So I'm just going to go down here and we're going to do a full replace on this and just say boom underscore number sign, number sign, and say rename objects, there we go. And maybe I'll do the same thing with the main null, only I'll strip out the the index. Boom, okay, boom, huh, look what I did. Um, so you can see just how easy it is to kind of work with this. Uh, so this, I believe all these parts are the cab. So I'm gonna actually not put numeric indexes on these. I'm just going to add cab as a, uh, a prefix. So for that, we're just going to go like this. We're going to say cab underscore uh, dollar sign, or wait, let me see. I think it's dollar sign. Current name is going to be dollar sign name. And you can just type this. You don't need to actually come in here. This is easier for you to, not, so you don't have to remember what these tokens are. So it's just going to take the current name and it's going to add cab at the beginning. So do that. All right, there we go. There we got cab. And maybe we'll name, rename this one just to cab. There we go. So really easy to do replacement, use current names, all that sort of thing. So let's keep going down. Uh, so this one, we've got a bunch of parts that have random numbers on them. They're not numeric. They're not in order. And we want to change that. We want to just make it clean clean it up in order. So we could do a full replace on this. Uh, in fact, I think we probably will. But uh, the other thing that we could do is just add a numeric index to the end. But I think in this case, I'm just going to do a full replace. Uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to type all that out, I'm just going to copy that, put it into rename, underscore, Number sign, number sign, boom, oops, and let's just grab all those and do that. There we go. All right, so that's cleaned up. Let's also do the same thing to our main null. So that's easy. So a lot of times, you know, you'll get parts that are, have a completely different language, and we know these are tires, so maybe I might do something. Let's do something a little bit different here. We're going to actually replace this and call it tire tires underscore, and then we'll do alphabetic index, and we'll say boom. So now we've got just another option. I don't normally work this way. This is more for like versioning for me, but <clears throat> it's kind of a nice way to do it. So you can quickly see how you can go in here and start just like quickly renaming things very, very quickly uh, and end up with a much cleaner scannable scene. Um, I mentioned that it also works with layers too. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm just going to come in here and we're just going to make, I don't know, uh, sometimes you might have a scene with a bunch of layers in it. So in this case, maybe we want to completely change the layers. Uh, I'm going to actually undock this just so we can see this a little bit better. Put that there. Okay, so maybe we want to rename these layers to the name of the scene. So maybe I think the scene, this is a Manitowoc uh, GR. I'm just going to grab the name from our main piece here, and we're going to name that. And uh, that'll be the prefix to all these layers. But we're just going to do a complete rename on these layers. So rename those, boom. Okay, so now maybe we want to take some of the parts that we've actually created here. We created a base bottom part, a boom, and a cab. We haven't worked our way through all of it because I'm not, that's just doesn't make for a good video. All right, so cab, let's drop that into this one. And boom, let's drop that into this one. And bottom part, we'll drop that into this one. Okay, so with this one selected, I know that's the base bottom part, so I'm just going to say dollar sign name to grab the current take, or sorry, layer name, and add base bottom, and we'll rename that layer. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing to this one, which is going to be boom. So we'll do current name 
boom, rename that layer. And then this top layer here, I think is uh, the cab. So we'll grab that one and we'll say cab. Boom. So it's just kind of a nice way to, it's just a real simple tool. It's, it, it couldn't be more simple, but the tokens make it very, very powerful. All right, so the last thing you can do is you can actually also rename materials. So in this case, maybe I want to not change the name of these materials because that will make it hard for me to understand what they are, but maybe I want to know what kind of material it is. So I'm going to grab all the ones that are metal. So we'll grab the chrome, metal, metal. Yep, okay, let's see if I don't miss anything here. Wires, metal, metal red. Uh, cool, yeah, let's grab all those. And all we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna say metal underscore dollar sign name. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add the metal prefix to these material names. Let's go ahead and do that, rename materials, boom. So now at a glance, I can tell, okay, that's metal, that's plastic, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, that's kind of it. It's it's a really simple tool, but we've been using it in production for, like I said, quite a while, and it's super, super useful. I recommend docking it in the interface and just keeping it there and just using it when you need it. But it's great. Uh, the tokens make it super handy. It's awesome. We hope you love it as much as we do. And that's it for this one. I'll see you next time.